So I've actually decided to do something. And by something, I'm making... It's, it's vegan stroganoff, or you can just look it up as mushroom stroganoff. Um, had no idea this was a thing back in the day. And I made this, God, four years ago in Florida. Um, during the lockdown, I wanted something different. And the lady I was taking care of had Alzheimer's, so she had her own meal. But um, I, I made this. And... I'm pretty sure this is the same one I used before. Um, instead of onions, it calls for leeks. And I did look up a recipe. I'm just one of those people that I look up different recipes, mix them all together and go with it. So let's say three different recipes and then I just pick and choose the ingredients I want to use in it. Um, Vegan friendly, Worcestershire. Now, I need this. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I needed this until I decided I wanted to make um, Chex Mix. Um, I'm going to be making that next month, I'm assuming. Um, but right now, like, this week is still in the 80s. I'm not turning my air on, though. I refuse to turn my air on. It's October. I'm not turning my heat on, either, until November. So, um, I have the windows open, and it's okay. Um, so anyway, I'm going through my leeks, and I have a few pieces, here's some, that I haven't chopped up very well, so I'm cutting them up. Here's another one. Um, like, I brought these home Saturday, and I started to clean them and chop them up. And then I just got to the point of, yep, I'm done. I'm, I'm so over it. Like, I just couldn't take it anymore. So I had to go do some knitting and crocheting. Um, but I was like, I really need to cut these up because I don't want them in such big chunks. Had no idea what leeks were until I bought them. Um, I mean, I love onions. I can't begin to tell you how much I love onions. And now I've been eating leeks all weekend and... Talk about the heartburn. Jeez. Anyway. Um, picking my leeks out that I need to cut up. So I can get this done while that is finished cooking. I have not cooked up my noodles yet. Um, had to wash my pan. Because I used it for popcorn last night. So... I thought that, I'm like, I don't need to wash, cook my noodles up just yet. Um, I'm just cooking this up so that way it's ready to go. I can't begin to tell you how tired I am. I mean, I am unbelievably exhausted. I just, I feel like I can't get enough sleep. And we haven't even turned clocks back yet. So, um... I got my nutritional yeast. I ran out. I got the one pound bag this time because I thought that would last me longer. And I ha really, I'm not even, I can't begin to tell you. I had no idea. Like, I knew I could put it in food. I didn't think anything of, like, just sprinkling it on food to give it a cheesy taste. I was like, really? That's cheesy? So I did put it in my stroganoff. Um, and it's like, I mean, seriously, I had no idea. I don't use aluminum foil anymore. I'm really bad at stirring. I can't begin to tell you. I am really bad at, like, stirring because I literally get it everywhere. Like, when I get done cooking, the whole front of me is either wearing it or it's on my floor. And I'm very germaphobic, so I have to wear shoes in my house, which is fine, because I leave my outside shoes at the door, and then I flip, and I put, like, flip-flops on in the house. Um, so, yeah, it's like, by the time I get done, my shoes are covered in food, and I'm just like, oh, well, I know what I made today. So, um, this is looking pretty good. Cover back on it. Yeah, I don't use aluminum foil anymore. 
I had no idea the aluminum foil particles of it go into your food. So I have plastic bag and I use parchment paper. Okay, we're good. As long as I have something to cover this with. Because if I put the other lid on it, it's quite huge and quite, oh my God, it's just such a pain to wash. Anyway, um, white wine vinegar. You can use white wine. Um, my problem was I was sitting there going, I have under $100 left to the end of the month. I'm like, um, I wanted to buy a pumpkin. I need to buy Halloween candy for the kids. And I'm waiting for Prime Day to see if my food processor or my mandolin will be on major sale. So I'm like, I'm going to save my money. And I looked up what I could use in replace of white wine. Um, apparently, you can use apple juice, um, applesauce, distilled vinegar. And it said white wine vinegar. And I went, yep, I'm good. I'm like, I, I will use white wine vinegar because um, why the heck not? Um, time. I put some of that in there. Um, I don't normally put black pepper in my food, but I was like, you know what, maybe I should. I got some organic paprika. That's for a different dish. So I'm just waiting for this to cook out. Um, this is all the stuff that I have put in it. I love this coconut stuff. Oh my God, that's so good. Um, and a little bit of flour, um, nutritional yeast flakes. And here's the funny thing. Like, I don't really measure anything. Oh, and I put some vegetable broth in. And the only reason I'm showing you my measuring cup is because um, my vegetable broth is this. I'm trying it. I don't like that everything has salt in it. I can't begin to tell you. Like, all this vegetable broth, it doesn't matter how you buy it, it is loaded with sodium. Like, it's just, ugh, it's ridiculous. This one has, this one has 700 milligrams. I don't put salt in my food. Um, I did sprinkle a little bit of this in there. They call it for sea salt, and I don't use sea salt. So I sprinkled a little bit of that in. I, my container is all, like... I have to I have to do this before I use it but I went through and crushed a little bit up and then I just sprinkled a little bit in there other than that um, just waiting for it to be done like I say I have not cooked the noodles I'll do that tonight before I eat it I'm going to use brown rice noodles I'm sure any noodles you use are fine I mean seriously um, you could probably even use these. Um, you could probably even use these. It's it's up to you. I mean, why, 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 why? I forgot to put my tofu in there. Um, I really did. I forgot to put my tofu in there. I was going to because mushrooms are not a really good source of um, protein. And I was going to cut up a block. And I, I, I swear to God, all day yesterday I kept thinking, I need to go cut my tofu up so I can be drying it out. And of course my thought was, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Well, it's now Monday and I didn't do it. <laughs> so I'm going to have to, um, because mushrooms aren't a real good source of protein. So I was going to take a block and just dry it out and crush it up and throw it in there as my protein. So now I have to crush it up and just throw it in there and let the humidity do its thing and let it dry it out as it cooks. So that's fine. I'm not going to make it in chunks. I'm going to crumble it up and throw it in there that way. And that way, I mean, it's not going to make a difference. I'm sure if you wanted to make little cubes and put it in that way, go ahead. If you want to make chicken strips, go ahead. Um, I'm going to make it like beefless crumbles and just make it crumbly and stick it in there that way. It'll be just as good either way. So I will be back um, in a little bit.